So if I've tried to sell something online and try to receive payment online as a Nigerian or as an African, then you must either have heard about Flutterwave and or Paystack. These are the two uh, most popular um, e-commerce payment gateways for Nigerians and Africans. So in this video, I want to do a this versus this video for you in case you were trying to decide which one you should go for and um, which one you should not go for. So my name is Good Noel. If this video helps you, please like the video. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. So without wasting time, this is Flutterwave. Like I've said, Flutterwave is um, a payment gateway that caters to Nigerians and Africans. So I'm just going to start with the pricing and how much they would charge us for transactions and fees. So we are going to do a grand comparison and then I'll tell you what I think overall. So this is a um, Flutterwave um, website and this is the pricing. So for Flutterwave, for every local transaction that you do using all the payment method like card, bank transfers, USSD and the rest, you would pay 2% per the transaction. All right. So 1.4% for transaction fee and 0.6% for the platform fee. So if you want to receive payments in, um, from international audience, this would be the fee that you would pay 4.8% per transactions from international cards like uh, American Express and the rest. So the ads is just very, very straightforward. So if you wanted to do transfer, this is how much they are going to charge you. If you are transferring, because you can transfer from the dashboards, you can transfer from the dashboard to a regular bank account. So if you are transferring um, 5,000 and below, you pay 10 Naira normally, like the average Nigerian bank. If you transfer from 5,000 and above, you pay 25 Naira. And from 50,000 and above, you pay 50 Naira. So as you all already know, there is a 5% value added tax that's not um, general in Nigeria. So that's the pricing for Flutterwave. So if we come to um, Paystack here, if we come to um, their pricing here, so if we come to their pricing, we want to see what they are going to charge us for transactions and all of that. So in their case, it's just very straightforward. So they are going to charge you 1.5% plus 100 Naira. So the thing is this, Flutterwave used to be cheaper than Paystack, but it looks like Paystack has since like reviewed their prices. I think they did because I think I got a mail from them that they reviewed their prices, all right? So here they said 100 Naira fee waived for transactions under 25. So if you are sending anything less than 25, you will not pay any transaction fees and then local transaction fees are capped at 2000 naira meaning that regardless of how much you you transfer you will not pay more than 2000 naira however you will um, you pay between 1.5 percent plus 100 naira so for international transactions you pay 3.9 percent plus 100 naira so um flutterwave is um i think 4.8 percent which is um sort of high so you can get paid by customer um, from around the world. And they say that you can actually get choose to get settled in USD. So I'm going to talk about that too. So again, for your transfer fees, uh, 5,000 below, 10 Naira, just regular um, fees in Nigeria. So here dedicated, you can also get a virtual account from them. And they say for the virtual account, you pay 1% per transaction capped at 300 Naira. So you don't pay more than 300 Naira um, fee for the terminals this is how much you are going to pay one percent ussd transaction and one um, point five percent plus hundred naira capped at um, two thousand naira and local card transaction that's what we just um, have seen one point five percent international card five point five percent so this is for their terminal if you want to get a pos from them or a physical terminal these are the prices, but we are not interested in that. We want to use this for online purchases like WordPress, WooCommerce, and every other e-commerce website. So let me, let's go to the back end and then I'll tell you what I really think about um, both um, platforms. So this is um, the back end for Paystack. So on Paystack, this is going to be what your dashboard is going to look like. So here you can 
um, see all your transactions. You can see all your customers. You can see all the people you've refunded. You can see all the payout that you initiated, all the disputes that people claimed. Um, if you have um, transactions that you split, you see all the slip splits here. You see sub account. You also see virtual account. So if you want to just create a virtual account that you can have for your business and give it to people, um, you can do that. They also issue terminals, just like we've seen from their fees, and they also do direct debits. So here, if you have um, recurring transactions um this is where you find your subscribers you have different plans and their subscriptions if you want to transfer this is where you find all your transfers this is where you find all the people you transfer to this is the balances and for e-commerce this is where you create payment pages this is where you create um different product that you can sell you also have storefronts that you can create i already have videos on how to create storefronts and all of that and this is where you find all the orders if um, carried out on your store and of course you can create invoices so you can create invoices and uh, people would pay you so on flutterwave we have the same thing this is where you find all your transaction your customers your balances your storefronts you can create different kind of payment payment links payment uh, recurring payments donations and the rest this is where you also have sub accounts, capitals, and all of that. So this is um, what you get with Flutterwave and also what you get with Paystack. So for the purposes of what they do, they both practically offer you the same thing. I just feel like Paystack has more, more options. So for me, I usually use these um, platforms to create payment pages all right so if you wanted to create payment pages you can come to payment pages right here and then you can basically come here click on a new page and you can um, create a one-time page a subscription page and then a product payment practically the same thing here if you come to payments on paystack you have different things you can do transfer invoice payment links payment plans and all of that so let's say we wanted to create a payment link we can just come here to payment links and then we can create any kind of payment link that we want so in most cases we are going to be able to create um again single charge subscription and donation they are basically the same thing so if you wanted to create one you can just click on create give it a name give it a pricing give it a currency and then you can basically create what you want to create again the same thing so when we talk about what they offer they basically the both of them they offer the same thing so you have to create an account to join any of them so the account opening process i think paystack is faster than um, flutterwave and flutterwave in most cases they want you to send them emails for very minor issues they want you to send them emails they enjoy emails i don't i think they are bored so they want people to talk to them however these boots companies they are very large um, companies so you are completely secure with them so you can basically chat them here this is their live chat and um, the same thing with um, flutterwave you can um, pay stack you can come here contact their support so overall the boots offer the same thing so let's talk about processing payments in the usd if you remember paystack told us that we can actually receive payments um in usd so um we could do that all right so if you wanted to do that you can do that so let's come to settings here if you come to settings you need to first of all add um a payment account so if you come to settings you come to accounts here all right if you come to accounts you can add a usd account so the the problem here is that they only accept you to add a zenith bank account which doesn't make any sense to me because we have a lot of banks in nigeria and this has been this way for years so they just want you to use a zenith bank personally i do not have a zenith bank domiciliary or usd account so i cannot use this flutterwave on the other hand they actually uh, make it look like you can use any bank that you want so if i come to flutterwave and then i go to the settings i go to settlement account and um, i can come to add a new settlement account 
and I can now select the currency that I want, which is USD. All right. However, if you wanted to add this bank account, they are going to tell you to contact them. Like I said, they like you to send them emails and talk to them. And after the email, they want to do some kind of verification to verify that you own this account and all of that. But after the verification, they will tell you that they cannot add the USD because CBN says they should not um, sort of do payments in USD. So why do we have this here? It doesn't make any sense. And the annoying thing is they actually make you go through the KYC. Like they called me and we had um, a lot of um, a lot of um, time trying to do the verification. They asked me questions, a series of emails, and in the end, they tell me that they cannot update my USD account. So, what's the point of having it here? However, the good thing with Paystack is that you can actually list the product in US dollars, and you can receive the payments in US dollars, and then they will automatically send it to you in nigeria naira so let's say for instance as you can see right here i have this product in us dollars all right so um the person who is paying would know that this is billed in the us dollars and then they can pay but i cannot now withdraw it directly to my domiciliary account because flutterwave says that the cbn said that they should not do that but here paystack is promising us that they can do that for us but then the same pay stack says that you must have um, um, a Zenith Bank domiciliary account. So, I don't know, man, but this is where we are with these two platforms. So, um, overall, um, personally, I think I prefer pay stack because I feel like their design is quite more modern and flutter wave they they just lack something they, they they are just um they are they are just so laid back they are not very modern and everything basically a lot of things you want to do you need to like send them email you can basically use everything here your payments for the payments um they pay you every day of the week so let's say somebody makes a purchase today the next morning they pay you so they settle every day for both platforms pay stack and uh, flutter with the pay so you don't really need to email them for all of that all those ones are automated however if you want to like you have an issue you want to open the account you have to email them so that they will manually verify you it's the same thing with pay stack but pay stack is faster than them so they ask you a lot of questions and um, stuff like that so let's say back to pay stack if i wanted to create these um payment pages i cannot list them in usd all right, I cannot use them in USD, but they told us that we could actually pay, um, we could actually be settled in USD, unless, of course, I can only start listing in USD when I have attached a USD account. So, for instance, let's say I want to um, select a one time payment here, and um, I should be able to select um, a currency, but I cannot call, um, select the currency here. So, this is just going to be Nigerian Naira so maybe when um maybe when um i attach the account i will able, I, will, I would be able to um collect the payments in usd however for all these transactions people can pay from any part of the world because these companies they are recognized from any part of the world so another thing is that you can put this um um, platforms on your website wordpress woocommerce wherever you can use any of them seamlessly so the last but not the least is actually the ui the front end of everything that we are doing so let's say we we preview this link this is um, a product that i sell a physical product um, a digital product that i sell so if we preview if we preview it i just feel like paste stack has a modern more refined um, front end for the end users so let's say i come to um, flutter wave and i review it i just feel like um, they are just like five years behind or something like that so i don't know why they do that but that's just the way it is apart from that they are very cool and paystack is also cool so which of them should you open 
open the both of them as you can see i have the both of them they are completely free to open so as you can see this is how the um base stack looks it just sort of looks bland somehow while the um um, this is Flutter Wave actually. So while the pay stack looks more modern and stuff like that. So you can open the both of them. They are free. You only charge when you uh, make a transaction and they want to pay you for the transaction. So this is my review for these platforms. Tell me what you think. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. My name is Good Noel and I hope that this video helps you. Thank you for watching and subscribe.